Speedway of Nations brings us team riding, a new dynamic to international speedway. For those of you who have watched lots of league racing, of course, apologies to you, you know this inside out. But for international speedway, it's brand new. And I've got some clips here that we can take a look at. We'll look at the first clip here, which is Sweden versus Italy. And it's a straightforward bit of team riding. Um, you'll watch as they get away here, the inside rider, Antonio Limbach, just about now, spot on there, we can just highlight him here and also actually see where he's actually looking towards his partner, who's Freddie Lindgren. And this is a classic bit of team riding because he is now in a position where he realises, as I run it through, that he doesn't want to move out and block his teammate. He allows him to come round. We'll stop it there. And you can now see they're in the absolutely perfect position for a 7-2. That's the new scoring, and they can then get a maximum score. Uh, a straightforward bit of team riding, but crucial for this particular type of discipline. Our second clip is uh, Great Britain up against Russia. It was uh, a couple of years ago from the very first Speedway of Nations, and uh, away they go, and they roar into the first corner. Young Robert Lambert on the inside, uh, who was very inexperienced at this stage, but uh, was riding beyond his years. He's on the inside there. And of course, we've got the world champion coming up alongside him, his partner, Ty Wuffenden. We run it on through. At this stage, it looks like they're reasonably in charge of this race, but it's, it's a tight one. Uh, the Russians behind are fast, in particular, the rider in the white helmet color, Artem Laguta. He's coming on very strong indeed. I'll stop it there and just highlight him so you can just see exactly the rider that we need to keep an eye on because he has a major role to play in this. At this stage of the race, we are in charge. We are on seven points, Great Britain. But Ty Wuffenden now is beginning to realize that they're under pressure. He's beginning to look around. There's no question that he's feeling the pressure from the rider behind him. And as they're exiting turn four here on uh, lap two, you can see, if we just highlight him there, that he's having a sneaky look over to Artem Laguta because that's halfway through the race approximately and it's critical because he realizes they're not going quite fast enough and the pressure is on. And they're rushing through again. We're just about hanging on there, but it's really tight as we can see. Wolfenden beginning to work big time again. He's trying to control it, but Laguta's got more speed. They desperately want to hang on to those seven points, but the Russian has got other ideas. And you can see once again, he's just about getting into the mix of it. Again here, very, very tight again, because he's carrying more speed. And the, the rider in front of him there in the red helmet color, Wuffenden, is desperately trying to protect this seven points that they can score. We're running it on through. Again, looking around, working hard, as we're coming to the very latter stages of this race now. They've done all the hard yards, but not quite enough, because Mr. Laguta there steals the show on the run to the line. And you can see how, how tough that team racing was there. And it just didn't quite work out as hard as those Brits worked there because they were trying to control the race. They slowed down and that allowed Mr. Laguta to come through. So team riding, um, all sorts of dynamics to it.